Karachalane Hyder Urdu, Kurt Alan Hydra Hindi, Karata Ula Aina Hydara the 20th of January 1927 to the 21st of August 2007 was an influential Indian Urdu novelist and short story writer, an academic and a journalist. One of the most outstanding literary names in Urdu literature, she is best known for her magnum opus, Ag Ka Darya River of Fire, a novel first published in Urdu in 1959, from Lahore, Pakistan, that stretches from the 4th century BC to post-partition of India. Popularly known as, Ainaya Appa. Among her friends and admirers, she was the daughter of writer and pioneers of Urdu short story writing Sajad Haydar Yildirim her mother, Nazar Zara, who wrote at first as Bint I Nazrul Bakar and later as Nazar Sajad Haider (1894–1967), was also a novelist and protege of Muhammadi Begum and her husband Syed Mumtaz Ali, who published her first novel. She received the 1967 Sahitya Akademi Award in Urdu for Patjar Ki Awaz short stories, 1989 Jainanpith Award for Akure Shab K Humsafar, and the highest award of the Sahitya Akademi, India's National Academy of Letters, the Sahitya Akademi Fellowship in 1994. She also received the Padma Bhushan from the Government of India in 2005. Biography Born on 20 January 1927 in Aligarh, Uttar Pradesh, though her family were from Netor, up, Korat ul Ain Haider is one of the most celebrated of Urdu fiction writers. She was named after a notable Iranian poet Korat ul Ain Tahira. Tahira. Korat ul Ain, translated literally means solace of the eyes and is used as a term of endearment. A trendsetter in Urdu fiction, she began writing at a time when the novel was yet to take deep roots as a serious genre in the poetry-oriented world of Urdu literature. She instilled in it a new sensibility and brought into its fold strands of thought and imagination hitherto unexplored. She is widely regarded as the Grande Dame of Urdu literature, after finishing her education from Indraprastha College, Delhi and Lucknow University's Isabella Thoburn College, she moved to Pakistan in 1947, then lived in England for some time before finally returning to India in 1960. She lived in Bombay for nearly 20 years before shifting to Noida near New Delhi, where she had been staying till her demise. She never married. She migrated along with her family members to Pakistan in 1947 at the time of independence, but some years later decided to go back to India, where she had since lived. She worked as a journalist to earn her living but kept publishing short stories, literary translations and novels regularly, by now almost 30 in number. She was managing editor of the magazine imprint, Bombay 1964-68, and a member of the editorial staff of the Illustrated Weekly of India 1968-75. Her books have been translated into English and other languages. Hyder also served as a guest lecturer at the Universities of California, Chicago, Wisconsin, and Arizona. She was visiting professor at the Urdu department at Aligarh Muslim University, where her father had earlier been a registrar. She was also professor emeritus, Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan chair at Jamia Millia Islamia, New Delhi. In 1979 she was in residency at the University of Iowa's International Writing Program. <inaudible> <inaudible> literary works A prolific writer, she began to write at the young age of 11. Her literary works include some 12 novels and novellas and four collections of short stories. Hyder has also done a significant amount of translation of classics. Her own works have been translated into English and other languages. Ag Ka Daria, River of Fire, her magnum opus, is a landmark novel that explores the vast sweep of time and history. It tells a story that moves from the 4th century BC to the post-independence period in India and Pakistan, pausing at the many crucial epochs of history. Aamer Hussain in the Times Literary Supplement wrote that River of Fire is to Urdu fiction what 100 years of solitude is to Hispanic literature. Ag Ka Darya is essentially a novel written from the point of view of the believers of Pakistan and depicts their agony in detail, especially towards the climax of the novel. 
Her other published works include, Mir B. Sanam Kane, 1949, Safana E. Gum E. Dil, 1952, Patjar Ki Awas, The Voice of Autumn, 1965, Raushni Ki Raftar, The Speed of Light, 1982, The Short Novel Che K. Bog, T. Plantations, 1965, One of Four Novellas Including Dolruba, Sita Haran, Agal Janam Mohe Bidya Na Kiho, Exploring Gender and Justice, and The Family Chronicle Kar E. Jahan Dara's Hai, The Work of the World goes on. Gardish e Rang e Chaman, a voluminous documentary novel on the post-1857 tragedy befalling women of respectable families. Akir e Shab K. Hamsafar, a novel on the Naxalite movement and Bengal unrest. Chan Ni Begum, a novel on the general social condition of Muslims 40 years into partition. Compared to her exact contemporaries, Milan Kundera and Gabriel Garcia Marquez, the breadth of her literary canvas, her vision and insight, transcend time. Amitav Ghosh writes that, hers is one of the most important Indian voices of the 20th century. Her first short story, Bai Chuya, Little Miss Mouse, was published in children's magazine Fool and at the age of 19 wrote her first novel, Mayre B. Sanam Kane. Topic. Awards and honors She received the Jnanpith Award in 1989 for her novel Akir e Shab K. Hamsafar Travelers Unto the Night. She received the Sahitya Akademi Award, in 1967, Soviet Land Nehru Award, 1969, Ghalib Award, 1985. She won Sahitya Akademi Award for her collection of short stories Patjar Kia Was, The Sound of Falling Leaves, in 1967. The Urdu Academy in Delhi conferred upon her the Bahadur Shah Zafar Award in 2000. She was conferred Padma Shri by the Government of India in 1984, and in 2005 she was conferred the Padma Bhushan the third highest civilian honour awarded by the Government of India, for her contribution to Urdu literature and education. Death Karachalane Haider died in a Noida hospital, near New Delhi, India on 21 August 2007 after a protracted lung illness. She has been buried in the Jamia Millia Islamia Cemetery, New Delhi. Her death has been condoled by the President and Prime Minister of India, and Chief Minister of her home state Uttar Pradesh. Critics It is believed that due to her high stature in social circles no criticism about her vision emerged although she was not infallible. Eminent Urdu novelist Payam Afaki has pointed out in his well-appreciated article Ag Ka Darya, Chand Sawalat that because she wrote Ag Ka Darya at an early age and because she was encircled by those who did not stay back in India at the time of partition she could not appreciate the point of view of those who did not migrate. After this article of Payam Afaki, she indeed reviewed such content and deleted in the English translation of the novel. Works In Translation Sound of the Falling Leaves. Asia Publishing House, 1996. ISBN 0-948724-44-7. A Season of Betrayals, A Short Story and Two Novellas. Oxford University Press, 2000. ISBN 0-19-579417-6. River of Fire. Translated by Karachalane Hyder. New Directions Pub, 2003. ISBN 0-8112-1533-4. Fireflies in the Mist. New Directions Publishing, 2010. ISBN 0-8112-1865-1. The Exiles. T.R. by Nadim Aslam. Hesperus Press, 2010. ISBN 1-84391-854-4.